Hi guys, it's Hannah from Trek It and I'm here in the beautiful Hoff Woods today just outside of Hereford to talk to you about the Tempest 30 from Osprey. Now the Tempest 30 shares a lot of DNA from Osprey's uh, Talon range but this is the women's specific version so uh, all of the the cuts, the fit, it's all um, specifically designed to fit the female body better. So as in the entire Tempest range, the real focus here is on ultra lightweight performance and ventilation. So this pack really, really excels in um, like multi-day backpacking, uh, winter mountaineering adventures uh, and extended trips away. So what is the Tempest 30 made of? So in the main body of the pack, we have a 70 by 100 denier nylon. So what that means is you've got a 70 denier nylon and 100 denier nylon woven into each other. Uh, so that perfectly balances durability and abrasion resistance uh, with lightweight and also it's really soft to the touch. On the bottom then, it's given a more abrasion resistant and durable 420 denier nylon pack cloth on the bottom. Now that's just to protect against scuffs like when you're scrambling or when you're putting down the pack to get stuff out. Um, and then the entire pack is given a DWR, so a durable water repellent coating. Um, that doesn't mean that the uh, pack itself is waterproof, it just means that uh, water will bead off the material. Um, so we do recommend if you know you're going to be out all day trudging through the wet that you either uh, put a rain cover over the top of it or you saw all of your kit into dry bags. So the Osprey Tempest 30 shares a lot of characteristics in the back system from Osprey's much larger trekking packs, um, but still maintains that really compact and lightweight characteristics that we see across the board from the Tempest range. So the shoulders and hip belt are made using a bio stretch material with a die cut EVA foam, and then they're given a breathable mesh over the top to help create space where sweat vapor can escape. So the hip fins themselves feature a seamless lumbar support. So what that means is that they're really able to hug around the contours of your body and they don't restrict your movement when you're walking, scrambling or climbing. Okay, so the mesh on the back system then is only attached on the outermost points. Behind that you have that um, EVA foam. Now those two systems together basically uh, increase the airflow between uh, your back and the uh, backpack itself. Um, and that just helps to keep your back cool and reduces sweat buildup. So the Tempest 30 uses a flexible frame sheet. Um, now that's to provide support and also to help transfer the weight of the pack over your hips, um, whilst also maintaining flexibility and freedom of movement. So the Tempest 30 only comes in one size, but the uh, Velcro adjustable back system means that you can really easily adjust the back length depending on the height of the user. Okay, so let's take a super quick look at the straps. So the straps on the hip belt just clip in at the front and they're a forward pull strap. So that means that they're really easy to adjust on the move. Uh, the straps on the shoulder system are adjustable just straight up and down. And that really helps to bring the um, weight of the pack over your hips, your knees and your ankles. Uh, then you have the adjustable chest strap. So that moves up and down the length of the shoulder straps. Um, and that has a little emergency whistle on him just in case you get into a bit of a pickle. Moving to the top of the shoulder straps, then you have these little uh, load tensioning straps. And what you do is you would just adjust those up and that's to move the uh, weight of the pack over your hips and uh, over into your center of gravity. Um, for more information on how to fit your rucksack properly, I do recommend that you go and give this little video a quick watch. Okay, so let's take a look at the features. So the Tempest 30 features a traditional top-loading uh, lid access into the main bag itself. Now this actually offers um, much higher versatility than a standard zip opening. Now that's because these also double up as compression straps. So if you're not filled to capacity, then you can cinch those right down uh, and keep all of the pack <coughs> cinched in close so that bits don't bobble around. Uh, it also means that if you've got a bit more kit in there, then you can loosen them up and extend the lid a little bit. So heading in then, if you open this up, you've got a uh, compression strap in the top and you'd undo that uncinch the draw cord and that's how you get into all your kit in the bag. Back up. In the top of the lid then you have a lovely generous mesh pocket 
Uh, he has a little cliff inside, so that's a really good place to stash keys uh, and other bits that you might need to get to at the end of the day when you don't want to be rooting around through the bottom of your pack. In the top of the lid then, you have a really, really large top lid pocket. Now that zip access is in the um, back of the pocket and you can access that while it's on your back. That's a really good place to stash <coughs> bits that you might need to get to quite quickly while you're out and about. So a uh, uh, head torch, first aid kit, compass, that kind of thing. Just keep them all in the top there. So moving around to the back is where you will find the hydration sleeve. So this is an external hydration sleeve, which means that you uh, don't have to unload all of your kit when you're refilling your bladder. It's really, really handy, really easy to use. Um, you've got a little clip in the top here and you thread that through and clip that up. So thread that through the top of your bladder and that just stops the bladder slipping to the bottom of that little sleeve. Uh, the hose then sits down either shoulder strap uh, and that's what these little elastic bands are for. So you thread your hose through those little elastic straps and it just keeps uh, your hose snug to your shoulder strap and not flapping around in the wind. While we're on the back then, it's worth taking a look at these little pockets here. So you've got two really generous pockets on the hip belt. They're a really handy place to stash your compass if you need it quite quickly. Uh, or, jelly babies. <laughs> this little sleeve in the shoulder strap is a really good place to clip a GPS. Okay, moving back around to the front of the pack. Uh, let's just have a look at these little external pockets. So, on the front then, you unclip it here, you've got this really lovely stretchy mesh pocket. That's a very good place to stash like your waterproof jacket or something you might need quite quickly should the heavens open. In the bottom of that pocket then you have a little loop where you can attach uh, a bike light. And on the sides you have these two very generous stretchy mesh pockets that will quite comfortably take a litre Nalgene bottle. While we're here we're just going to take a quick look at these little compression straps. Now these are uh, called inside out compression straps and that basically means that you can uh, adjust them so that they either sit a bit like this one inside the mesh pocket um, or you can unthread it, take it out of the loop on this side of the pocket and clip it back through so that they sit on the outside of the stretchy mesh pockets. Now that uh, sitting on the outside then will help to uh, keep whatever you've got on the inside of that pocket, so like tent poles, uh, close to the pack. <clears throat> so these compression straps can be cinched right down to uh, take out any excess volume that you might have if you haven't filled the pack to capacity. And that just uh, keeps the center of gravity uh, closer to your back and stops bits from bobbling around. So what really makes this pack excel in the winter as well as the summer is the ice axe loops and the stow on the go trekking pole attachments. So with these little ice axe loops then, you've got two little nylon loops at the bottom, which is where you would thread your ice axe through, and then these elasticated points on the side, which is where you would cinch that ice axe snug to your pack to stop it from bobbling around. Uh, what's really clever about this little pack is that all of these points can be tucked away into the pack and just hidden out of sight when you're not using them. So the little trekking pole sew on the go system is on the side of the pack. So what you would do is you would thread your little trekking pole through the bottom loop here and then cinch it into the shoulder strap here to stop it from bobbling around. So this little stow on the go system is really handy because it means that you can tuck your uh, trekking poles away while you're on the move. You don't have to take your pack off and you don't have to ask a friend to help you put them away. So that's it guys, that's the wonderful Tempest 30 from Osprey. So super lightweight, well ventilated pack, perfect for hut to hut excursions, but also packed with a ton of features that make it not just a great summer walking pack, but also a really good winter mountaineering pack. Uh, if you love the content that we're putting out, then do hit the subscribe button and you'll be one of the first to know when we put out new videos. If you'd like to shop the full range and the full range of colors, then do head to this link over here to see what we got. Uh, and if you missed it earlier and you'd like to watch the how to fit your rucksack video, uh, do head to this link here. I will see you next time.